Hey everyone, it's Danielle from Against All Grain. Today I'm showing you a simple method of preparing spaghetti squash. This is about a two pound spaghetti squash. It's a winter squash, so you won't be able to find it all um, throughout the year. When they're not available, we tend to use zucchini noodles, which I'll do um, a demo for as well after this. So you're going to want to insert a very sharp knife. They have a very um, hard skin, but you want to enter it in wherever you can. <laughs> and it takes a little bit of finesse, but and you just work. Oh, this one's harder than normal. There we go. Just work it all the way around and then flip it on its side and continue cutting until you reach the other part of the stem. And then once I get to the end, carefully get your knife out of there, set it aside, and then I just work my fingers in here, kind of like I'll show you this way, like this, and just break it apart. And you'll see that it is filled with um, kind of the seeds and membranes, just like if you were carving um, a jack-o'-lantern at Halloween time. So what I like to do is grab an ice cream scoop, mostly because it has a great sharp edge, and I just dig it all out. And also, it's important to note that I do have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So if you haven't done that yet, run, run over to your oven and just turn it on quickly as we scrape all these out. Now you can save this and you can season the seeds and, and roast them like you do with um, pumpkin if you'd like. I'm sure you can also add it to your compost if you do that as well. I don't know any other uses for it, so if anyone has any, then please email me and let me know because generally I just tend to throw them away and I'm dropping seeds all over the floor. <laughs> I can hear them falling behind me. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. I'm not always the cleanest cook. You can ask my husband. He comes home sometimes and he's like, what happened to the kitchen? <laughs> it's usually because I'm trying to do way too many things at once so I don't clean as I go. So that's our nice cleaned out spaghetti squashes. And I like to line things with parchment paper. It's mostly just because of the cleanup issue. It just makes it a lot easier. So uh, what I'm going to do is put just a little bit of water, um, a little less than a quarter cup on the bottom of this parchment paper. And then I'll flip these guys on cut side down. And then I've got just a little bit of um, olive oil and salt and pepper, and I like to rub the skins. That just helps them as they cook stay moist, and that's also what the water does. The water uh, will start to steam the spaghetti squash as it cooks and make the noodles really nice and tender. Okay, so I've sprinkled some salt and pepper on the insides there, and we have lightly oiled the outsides, and I'm going to place them back cut side down again. And now these are ready to go into the oven. Okay, these took about 40 minutes. It really depends on the size of your spaghetti squash, how long, but the way that you can check is just open the oven door, and if you push your finger into the skin, it should give just a little bit. Um, that's the way to know that they're, they're done, but they're not soggy. So make sure you pull them out as soon as that skin gets a little bit soft. You don't really want to handle these until they're done smoking, um, because you'll burn your fingers, but for the sake of video, I'm willing to burn my fingers for you guys. So all you have to do now is just take a fork, and the noodles just come naturally. Just take this like this, and you see that you're starting to get these beautiful little noodles. They're not nearly as long as spaghetti or um, even as zucchini noodles, but they work great. And that's it. You can serve it right in this um, cavity guess you'd call it, of the spaghetti squash. Or what I like to do is get all of the noodles out and put it into a bowl and then I toss it with a little bit of butter and garlic and sea salt before I serve it with my dish. Tonight we're gonna actually toss these in some pesto sauce and I've got some chicken meatballs that I'll put on top of them. But you can also put them in the fridge at this point and save them for tomorrow. There's Asher, so I'm gonna sign off now. <laughs>